is. I don't even know what day it is. It's Tuesday and I suck at YouTube. I'm so sorry. I'm cold. Oh shit, I almost spilled my matcha. Fuck. Um, so they're like changing something in the house, in our apartment house, like the entire building. And it's so cold in our apartment now, but it's okay because it's cozy. Can I like prop this here? I guess I put it here. So yeah, I just woke up just drinking my morning matcha in bed. Today I am working from home the first couple of hours because I have a few collaborations to shoot. Um, but then I'm heading to the office and I'll take you guys there maybe. I don't know. I don't really know what this video is going to be. If it's like a get ready with me or if it's like a just catch up. Catch up. <laughs> Anyways, it is now December 6th no 7th and we have moved offices so we moved offices last week and let me tell you guys last week was intense like my body is still trying to like I don't know like catch up with last week um but yeah this week is also intense next week is also intense I just feel like the month of December will just be intense but like a fun intense we have a lot of fun things happening and i'm just i'm really excited even though i don't sound excited right now that's what i'm doing usually i wake up i cuddle with ross and rufus i make myself a cup of coffee and then i usually sit in bed and kind of like get to the most urgent emails and stuff lately though we've been at the office around seven so when we're at the office at 7, I don't go through my emails in the morning. But now that I am going in a bit later, I thought that it would be a good idea to just get to the most urgent stuff. So, what is urgent emails, you might ask? And let me tell you. I just need to, like, wake up first. Mm. So... Urgent emails can be, urgent emails are usually emails from either like a collaboration, they're wondering about deadlines, or like our factories in Portugal are facing like a problem, maybe something has been delayed, a shipment is delayed, um, something has gone wrong with a website, just stuff like that, stuff that happens when I sleep that I wake up to and I'm like, oh shit, Ras, we need to fix this ASAP. So now, for example, I have an interview this week with a magazine in Sweden, and we're, like, trying to figure out a time that works, and I have a few, like, emails that are urgent on my personal, like, my Instagram, my influencer aspect of the business. Um, what's going on there? So, yeah. That's, like, emails. Um, I'm just excited. Life is fun. Oh, yeah. And in the morning, I also try to get to, like, my morning affirmations. If you follow me on Instagram, you know what I'm talking about. I post them, like, every other week or something. It's just me sitting in bed, saying out loud or in my head. It really depends on what I feel like I need for the day. Do I need to practice gratitude? Do I need to just practice patience? Um, stuff like that. Today, I feel like I need to remind myself that it's okay to slow down and it's okay to set boundaries because um, I'm really bad at that right now. So, and let me be with you. I am enough. I am light. I am love. My productivity does not define my worth. It's okay to say no. It's okay to rest. Stuff like that. And then I just repeat that. Usually I just repeat it in my head, but sometimes I also say it out loud. It really helps. And people who say that this does not help, you're lying. No, everything works for different people, you know. But for me, it helps because it kind of just like, it's a reminder for me and also practice gratitude. Like just, you know, waking up and saying, I'm grateful for my body today. I'm grateful for the food on my table. I'm grateful for my morning matcha. I am grateful for warm clothes now that it's freezing outside. Just stuff like that, it really puts things into perspective for me and it gets me 
in the right mindset, lets me focus on the things that are important to me. Um, so, kind of like those things I do in the morning as well. It can be either when I'm just laying in bed or as I'm getting ready, like as I'm doing my skincare routine. It's just really important for me to go through it in my head at least. I don't always write it down or I don't always say it out loud, but yeah. Last sip. Let's wake up. Oh, let's get going. I am gonna get ready, my ears are on. And before I get ready, I just wanna talk about the Wild deodorant. So this video is in collaboration with Wild, which I'm super excited about. Wild is a natural deodorant, looks like this. And it's amazing. Um, I've been using it for about like two months. I love it and I wanna tell you why I love it. So a natural deodorant is, this is free from aluminum salts, which is amazing. And it is also reusable. So what you do is you jump on their website and you choose a case. So this is the pink one. It even has my name here. And then you choose a plan. So if you wanna like have a subscription plan or if you wanna do like a one-off purchase. And after that, to the fun part, here is the deodorant. So this, like the actual deodorant, I'm gonna twist it up, we should do like that. So the actual deodorant is the, like the thing that you buy afterwards. So when you have a case and you run out, you just need to buy the new like little package of deodorant. How cool is that? This is what it looks like. So as you can see, it is a sustainable natural deodorant and it has a compostable plastic free refill. So refill is the word I was looking for. I'm like, what is the word? What is the word? I couldn't, I couldn't figure it out in Swedish or English. You run out of your deodorant, you just need to refill it with like the actual product. You don't need to buy a whole new case. And as you know, like the deodorants you get in store, they're usually in a plastic packaging and this is the reusable packaging. So you just reuse it. It's, I am, I'm so impressed and when i've tried a lot of natural deodorants actually i've tried the one that is like kind of like a salt or something it's really weird um but i haven't found anyone that works so when i started using wild i was genuinely first of all i was really like hesitant like is this going to work i've tried so many other ones nothing has worked but this genuinely works and i love the creamy texture because it means that my like armpit won't go dry or you know like some deodorants when you put it on it just kind of flakes this one just kind of like suits the skin which i love um, and they have a few different scents. I currently have the fresh cotton one. Um, smells amazing. So thank you Wild for partnering with me. Um, I have the little promo code for you guys if you wanna try it. And I genuinely think that you guys are going to love it. So goodbye to a new deodorant every other month or when, whenever deodorants run out. And hello to a new reusable deodorant that you just refill the little actual deodorant part it smells like heaven oh my god okay also sorry but how cute is it that they personalized it for me so it says matilda and this is where i have all of my like daily the products that i kind of use daily so i have my deodorant i have my makeup brushes I have my serums from Dr. Barbara Sturm, my cleanser from Tata Harper, and then a few different like face masks and moisturizers. So this is my like everyday use. And then under here, I use like weekly, um, but not daily. So that's, I try to make it easy for myself. But yeah, this is my little, my little skincare box. And skincare for me is like, I'm more of a skincare product girl than I am a makeup girl. Um, you know me, I'm always on the hunt for like the most natural makeup that I, that just gives me like a little bronzed look. So um, yeah, that's where I'm at. Now I'm gonna start doing my makeup. Just going to, I'm gonna show you guys. I actually got a new product. It worked out yesterday, so I have everything in my little chaos bag. But yeah, some, my bathroom is way too small for me. I have too many things. So, my little bag, but I don't wanna show you. I wanted to show you guys this. So, you probably already heard about this many, many times. It's the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter. 
and I've wanted to try it for a really long time. I just never got around to actually purchasing it, but I purchased it last week in color 5 tan, and I really, really like it. Now somebody's calling me. My brother is calling me. Hey? I put it directly on my skin. Don't come for me. I'm scared. Okay. So I put like a little bit. Boop. And then I just blend it out. This is actually not like a concealer concealer, but I like using it. So I use this under my eyes and kind of just like a little bit around my nose if I'm super like red or if I have any breakouts, but usually it's just under my eyes. Um, and I kind of just like up. Also purchased this from Charlotte Tilbury, the Magic Away Liquid Concealer. And it was a bit like for under my eyes, it's a bit too dark. Um, but for like the rest of my face, it really works, so that's nice at least. And then I just use a bit of bronzer. I also <laughs> purchased this from Charlotte Tilbury. So this is their airbrush bronzer, but I... My go-to bronzer is the Refai Beauty one. It's the color tan. I still, it's still my absolute favorite, so that's what I use. That's what I use. outside so I'm literally like how do I even get dressed for that but I'm gonna try and I think it's gonna be layers and guys I purchased the cutest vintage moon boots Dior like Dior moon boots they're baby pink and they're kind of like I mean they're out there but in like a cute way maybe I should wear them but I have a meeting today and I feel like can I walk in with moon boots as an entrepreneur as a boss I don't know well yeah I can who cares <laughs> 